Hello and welcome to Money Control. My name is Shraddha Sharma and you're watching Ideas for Profit. In today's edition, let's discuss about ICICI Bank. It has been a tough stock to navigate for the investors. Between 2008 and 2018, the stock performance was lagging compared to its private bank peers. Since 2018, after the cha change in a bank's management, the stock has significantly outperformed its peer group. But just when we were becoming confident of the lender's performance, the stock corrected over 35% amid the coronavirus fears from its 52-week high. COVID-19 has created pressure on the equity market, wiping almost two-year gains of ICICI Bank. Does this mean current situation for the bank is similar to its position in 2008 or 14? Well, the answer is no. ICICI Bank has emerged from its lost decade with a cleaner and stronger balance sheet. Why current fall is an exaggeration? Well, the bank is showcasing strong fundamentals compared uh, to its, uh, if we compare it to the previous crisis. Therefore, ICICI Bank still remains a strong investment option. But the market mayhem has pushed down the stock's valuation to a distressed level. If you look at the previous crisis, during the global financial crisis in 2008, the bank had direct exposure to Lehman Brothers, followed by NPS shoot-up starting FY08 to FY10 and corporate bad loan cycle in around FY13. Both these cycles suppressed ICICI Bank's return ratios. But the crisis situation led to a significant strengthening of ICICI Bank's balance sheet. The success of the bank's change strategy is clearly visible in its robust liability franchise today. Bank's low-cost CASA deposits improved from 26% in FY08 to 43% of total deposit as, as at end December 2019. Further, retail deposits form a significant part of the total deposits and provide stability to the bank's resource profile. Bank's overseas loan declined as well from 25% in FY13 to around 9% as at end December 2019. De-risking of the asset book is also evident in the significant improvement in risk-weighted assets to average assets which has also improved the bank's capital efficiency. Bulk of its asset problems were already recognized till FY18. In FY19 and in the current fiscal till December, the slippage or the gross additions to non-performing assets trended downward. The bank's provision coverage ratio stood at 85.7% as at end December, among the highest in the industry and hence net NPAs have improved to 1.5%. So what's the outlook? Well, balance sheet strength is paramount for a bank and having achieved it, ICICI Bank is likely to see strong earnings growth in the coming years. ICICI Bank's cost of funds have been amongst the lowest at around 5.05 to 5.15% in the current fiscal, thanks to its superior funding profile. Investors should note that we aren't saying that there will be no more bad loans but that the quantum should keep diminishing as much of the problem assets are already recognized and provided for. So what should investors do? Well, at the current price of Rs. 340, ICICI is trending at 1.2 times FY21 estimated code book value, which is attractive. In fact, it means an investor is buying ICICI stocks at the current price is getting its valuable subsidiaries for free. While the COVID-19 pandemic will certainly add pressure and the volatility can continue for some time, long-term investors can start accumulating the stock. 